Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a confession uh, to make really quickly. Because of the events that have happened over this past weekend with the harassment of Christine Sprankle causing her to leave the game, um, or at least to take a break from it, uh, it's brought to my attention something that I ended up doing that I don't know how many people it ended up hurting. Um, it wasn't an action on my part, it was inaction. And here's what I mean. A little bit of background for you. I've been to, let's see, what local game stores? Tyke's Games, Dragon Star Hobbies, Card Advantage, The Missing Piece, Vendetta Games, Tapstart Games. Uh, I've called, at one point or another, all of those my home game store. And for the most part, that is with one exception, They've been pretty good uh, on being inclusive. It, it, for a while, part of the reason that I didn't see, I guess you'd say, inclusivity at the LGS level as an issue is because the LGSs I went to were inclusive. The first three on that list all were. Uh, where my girlfriend then wife at the time could come and she wouldn't be the only woman there. Um, where kids could come, where other people that aren't that don't look like me could come, basically. Um, and we had a an instance over at Dragon Star where one of the owners, uh, I didn't hear the offending comment, but apparently others did, and he was one of them, and he chewed out the guy who said something to her um, that I'm sure was not appropriate. Yeah, that that's what you're supposed to do when someone is a jerk like that. Uh, at the LGS level, you tell them right then, in no uncertain terms, and you get them to change their behavior, or tell them you're not welcome, because you're not making it welcome, welcoming for others. Uh, okay, that being the case, and Tapstart Games is my current LGS home. I don't go there often because it's about 40 minutes away, it's a bit of a drive, but the, oh, there are four owners there, two women, two men. And, as you can imagine, it is really inclusive that over there. I've, granted, I haven't been over there too frequently lately, but I've never come across an issue with uh, someone making a comment like that. Okay, that being the case, there's, there's one exception of those. Uh, that is the missing piece. If you remember that name from the channel, it's because that's the game store... Uh, I used to attend that burn down. It was apparently a, an electrical fire, and the place wasn't insured enough, and they did not get enough money, he did not get enough money to open it back up. Now, I had, I used to have this rule on the channel where I would censor if a, if a curse word happened to be said. I would actually put up the card censorship and a little censored bleep, like beep, if someone said something. Uh, myself or someone else. And I actually stopped doing that at a certain point, even though I know it makes the videos less kid-friendly, because it, I think it makes them more authentic. That said, uh, there's still an exception to that, or a, a number of exceptions actually, that I've only ever had to invoke, if I remember correctly, at the missing piece. Uh, sexist epithets, racial epithets, ethnic ones, uh, transphobic or homophobic, comments, uh, those sorts of things, or uh, a curse word that is directed unhumorously, unironically at someone else. So, for example, when my ex ended a game by saying, F you, that I knew she wasn't being serious about that, you know. But uh, I had to do that multiple times over on these old videos uh, at the missing piece. And some instances I missed, and I don't just in the editing process, I missed it, and, and I regret that. And if there's a way to fix that on YouTube once they're already uploaded, I'd be happy to do that. Um, calling... So most of it was the store owner, but not all of it. Calling someone a gypsy to say they were cheated, or a Jew to say that they were cheated, or the, the N-word, with an E-R at the end, or, I did not even, the, the creativity for some of these is, would be spectacular if it weren't so sad. Mind-slavering someone, and then making a slavery reference because they're black. 
um, the C word to a woman, um, the F word to someone who's transgender, those sorts of things. And as a result, it was very much not a welcoming environment to people who aren't, you know, who were women. I, I remember one kid who was not white who would come in consistently for sanctioned events, and that's it. I mean, that's it. Not a very welcoming environment. Um, f for unsanctioned events, occasionally, yes, it would be. But when it came to F&M and a lot of people were there, and that environment had it reached that critical mass of toxic players, no, absolutely not. And it wasn't just the store owner. We had a PPTQ where the L2 judge was asked by one of the players, I don't think he's playing anymore, I don't think he's at LGS, so I won't give his name because I don't think he's going to be a problem. Um, maybe I should just in case, but if I say it, I can't take it back. If I don't say it, I can say it later. Uh, he did the Hail Hitler uh, stance with a salute, or not, sorry, uh, and when the judge told him not to, he berate, not berated him, he kept pushing the envelope, like, is that a game loss? He's not in the tournament, by the way. Um, the, and the judge said the ruling is don't do it. Yeah, but it's not against the rules of the game. That, that's sort of like pushing to try to get that to happen. Um, yeah, it was not a very welcoming environment. He certainly wasn't the only player like that. Um, that was at a PPTQ. Uh, where I come in is that when those sorts of things happened, I did not call them out. If you know me <laughs> personally, that's probably not all that surprising to you. Being confrontational is not in my nature. And saying something afterwards is one thing, and I did that. Not as often as I should have, though. Saying it in the moment is really consequential, though, and the reason is because the victim of those comments might not know that you got onto them or that they had someone supporting them if you do it afterwards. It's if you do it right then that they can see that there's someone pushing back. And even then, maybe that's not enough. The toxic player could stay there and then they could see that they're not terribly welcome, but at least that's something that I could have done. Because I was present for some of those instances. The closest I got to doing it in the moment, I remember, was a time when I said something to the effect of, you know I'm going to have to cut that out. Which could be taken as a joke. You know, so that's not uh, not on me for saying those things, but for, for being inactive, for not putting a stop to that. Now, again, thankfully, and I can see where a lot of players who don't see inclusivity at LGSs are coming from, because they might go to an LGS where that's not a problem. I've had the pleasure of being to several where at least as far as they happened when I was present, there weren't issues. Places like Card Advantage still have women that go there because it's a welcoming environment. Um, Tapstar Games, same thing. Vendetta Games, same thing. I, it's been a while since I've been to Tykes and Dragonstar, but I assume the same because that used to be the case there. <sighs> so, that's my, that's my confession. There's an expression that's been going around for a while now, but it's picked up in the magic community because of the prominence of a blogger who used it. Silence is complicity. And until this happened over this past weekend, I didn't put two and two together on really how I was part of the problem. Just not being a total jerk is not enough calling out the people who are being total jerks and letting them know that that behavior is not acceptable is where we need to be. And if the LGS lets that keep happening, don't give them your support. Don't give them your, your dollars. Okay, so sorry for the rant. Sorry for the confession, um, but I hope you understand why I wanted to say that. Uh, 
Maybe someone who sees this won't make the same mistake that I made. All right. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.